Hey guys, so I'm about to hit the gym, but before I went, I thought I'd record just a quick video on um, some healthy food ideas you can have in your dorm. Right now, I've basically switched all from dorm food to cooking my own food and just having my food in my dorm, which I know is a little extreme for some people, um, a lot of people actually, but um, I thought I'd just show you guys how I'm eating like healthy options and what you can do to like, put in your room and if you don't have access to a kitchen 24-7, or if you're just looking for healthy things, you can just have grab and go in college. Okay, first thing is these original sausage patties breakfast from Morningstar Farms. Um, I warm these up in the microwave and I'll eat them kind of as a snack. You can do them for breakfast though, they taste really good. And the macros are 70 calories for one, three fat, three carb, one fiber, and nine protein. And these are really good guys, like they satisfy cravings a lot if you're trying to look for, um, you know, kind of like a savory taste. These are another favorite of mine. They're only 80 calories, so light and fit Dannon Greek yogurt. The Boston cream pie is like a flavor I'm really hooked on right now. Um, the macros are zero fat, nine carb, and 12 protein. So they're a little lower carb, I think, than a lot of yogurts, especially Greek yogurts that I've seen lately. So I just love these. They fill me up really quick and they satisfy sweet tooth. Sugar-free Jello, great when cutting. These only have literally five calories in them per container. So I got the orange and strawberry flavor. Literally just one carb. No protein, no fat, but one carb for like an entire one of these. It's great if you're cutting. These are just like a staple in the bodybuilding world. Um, the white cheddar Quaker rice cakes. I love the chocolate too, but I think I said in a different video that um, they have higher carbs in them. So if you're trying to really go for the least amount of carbs with a great taste, definitely check out these. 45 calories, one fat, eight carb, and one protein. So these are just really great and they're like easily transportable if you're trying to go to class or something like just put them in a ziploc bag and take them with you i've literally done that all the time now so i love these i recently just checked these out they're the cheddar flavored mini rice cakes the kroger brand and um 70 calories per serving which was uh you can't really see this because it's called crumbled but two and a half fat 12 carb and one protein for it says nine mini cakes so what I like about these is sometimes I'll just get like many cravings to eat something. I'm not even super hungry, but I just need to eat something like, to satisfy that. And I'll just eat like one, two of these. And on average, it's like one and a half carb or something per cake. And so I just, I just like that. It just satisfies me and it's easy to keep in the dorm. Smoked almonds. These are literally my breakfast go-to because I like to eat higher fat and higher protein in the morning. Uh, it keeps me fuller, longer, and less cravings. So one serving is 28 grams, 16 fat, 5 carb, 3 fiber, 6 protein. This is a great source of fiber too. Um, a lot of people don't know that you need to be getting like 20 to 30 grams of fiber a day if you're a girl. And like 30 to 40 if you're a guy. So this is um, great. I like the smoke flavor, but they have a ton of different flavors that you can get. Okay, so this is like one of my weirder ideas, but... I don't know if you guys have seen this before, the Healthy Life brand of bread. 35 calories per slice, five grams net carbs. Basically, it just has a ton of fiber in it. So it's 70 calories per, per two slices. So that's half fat, and then, let me see if I can even read this. Okay, half fat, 16 carb, and five protein for two slices. A lot of times, I'll just eat one slice, and I'll get some laughing cow cheese and put it on top. And I know it sounds kind of gross, it's like bread and like laughing cow cheese, but honestly, it's so good. Like, don't knock it till you try it. When um, you're in a dorm, you gotta get creative, and that's a great way to get in fiber, so I love it. Next, we have these 100 calorie packets of Better Oats. I like the cinnamon roll flavor and um, the maple brown sugar, I think, flavor, but that's like the only two flavors they have in the 100 calorie anyway. <laughs> but um, let's see, it's 100 calories, two fat, 18 carb, three fiber, three protein. And um, this ha also has like flax seeds in it and stuff, so it's pretty healthy for you. Very filling. I'm a big believer in oatmeal because it really does fill you up quick. So this is little mini packets. You fill it up with water, put it in the microwave for like a minute and a half, and you're good to go. And a lot of times I'll put some PB Fit or protein uh, like peanut butter powder in it, and it tastes so good. Honestly, like it saves so many macros too to just use the PB Fit instead of actual peanut butter because I don't know if you guys know but I'm like a peanut butter addict and I'll basically always eat more than I should how I splurge I love cereal French toast crunch 
Um, a serving of this, 28 grams, is one fat, 24 carb, one fiber, and one protein. Um, cereal does have a lot of sugar in it. I like it to, like, I like to eat it around my workout, so pre, post workout, and sometimes if I have cravings and I still have carbs left before bed, I'll put it in there. So yeah, I really am a big fan of cereal. The hard thing is though, like, if you can't portion yourself, honestly, don't buy it because it's so easy to overeat it on it. Just be like, you know what? Screw my macros. Like, I'm just gonna eat more. You gotta have self-control because you could end up eating the entire box. So a lot of people argue that protein bars aren't the best idea, but when you're in college and you're on the go, it's sometimes just hard to get in protein at all. So for all the people who are like, I can't get in protein, stop making excuses. You can at least find protein bars. I know they have some on campus. My favorite are the Fit Crunch bars, the Robert Irvine chocolate peanut butter, 190 calories. These are the half size bars and that's eight fat, 14 carb, one fiber and 16 protein. Um, I get these at Costco in bulk. That's how they're like the smaller sizes. So guys, it comes out to like less than a dollar per bar when you get them at Costco. So like seriously invest in that because these taste like candy bars. They're great for cravings and I take them to class all the time. It's a great way to get in protein. Uh, it's lower carb, it is higher fat, but I mean for the carb content and if you're just trying to get in protein, like these are definitely good and they're pretty filling too. For a lot of people too, like if you don't have time to cook ground turkey like I do or chicken or you just don't have like a kitchenette even in your dorm, these are good. I just found these flame grilled garlic and herb chicken breasts. There's three chicken breasts per pouch and uh, each one is 90 calories and one and a half fat, less than a carb and 18 protein. So you just have like two of these or something. Pretty good, kind of high in sodium. But as long as you're drinking a lot of water, it shouldn't be bad and you can just microwave them or do it on the stove top. So these are good too. And you guys should have seen this one coming, but protein powder. Easy, easy way to get in protein. Um, there's so many things you can do with it rather than just putting it in some milk or like some water or almond milk. Like people think you just have to drink it. You can actually put it in your oatmeal, make pro oats, like protein oatmeal. Um, uh, you can do that. You can put it in like your cereal milk when you're eating your cereal. Literally, there are so many different ways. You can just look up different protein recipes even. Just ways to sneak it in. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, let me know what you guys thought of it below or if you have other ideas for dorm foods in the comments because I'd love some more too. Um, I'm just trying to help college kids because I know a year ago I was looking up videos on what to eat in a dorm and how I was supposed to do this healthy lifestyle in college, especially freshman year, and I was freaking out. So um, if you guys like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, uh, let me know what you thought in the comments, and if you guys have any other ideas for upcoming videos, I'd love to hear them. So thank you guys so much.